Good day to you. Today I want to just um, quickly cover um, installing the Just Li Books database on Oracle 18C. So that's what this one's going to be installing Just Li Books database on Oracle 18C. Okay, so first of all, we boot up our computer. Yep, like that. Okay, the next thing the next thing that we do is we um, click on this find button here and we go to our SQL plus which is this okay um, if you're following through on the series of videos we've already unlocked the user HR and we've um, got our database uh, installed and set up so the only thing that we need to do now is to um, yeah is to install the the just Lee um, table records or yeah okay so first of all you need to get the files from UNISA okay you've got to download them I've already got them here I've extracted them into a folder this was um, another folder I've copied that folder onto my C drive and I've just removed the space and I've put an underscore so all the scripts are inside um, and so according to the, the tutorial letter we just need to um, connect using this SQL plus and the way that we connect is we open the program up and we say con and we say HR because that's the password or the user and this is the password HR at local host um, 1521 was our port and XEPDB1 is the database. Uh, did that? Yeah. Uh, user. Oh. Oh, okay. It should just be the user. I'm already. It's asking just for the user. Okay. So the user is the HR user. HR. The password is, I believe, should be also HR. No, didn't like that. Okay, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna connect as sys. Um, sys as sys. DBA. Okay, there we go. I connected it. Uh, yeah, I've connected as the sys instead of the HR person. Alright. Um, I wonder why I didn't want to connect as HR. Connect. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to change the connection. I'm going to say connect. Um, HR HR at local host fifteen twenty one XEP DB one. Okay, now I'm connected as the HR user, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, so according to their documentation, they say that as long as we've got it in a in a folder and um, I've just, like I said, this is the, the folder I've created. Then we can um, easily just put a an at sign here. We can say at and then our folder. And then uh, we've got to specify the file name. So um, I wonder if it will work. JLC. No tab doesn't work it normally does work in uh, in DOS prompt but not here uh, so let's just go to properties we'll just copy this out okay go here uh, take that one out right click there we go and there you can see it's busy executing the script and so you've got to do that for all the scripts um, and I believe there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven scripts and a dropped script. 
um, I would don't recommend running the drop script but uh, definitely do recommend running the others um, and once that's done then you should be able to see some tables so let's go and open our Oracle our Oracle database Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't installed any um, browser uh, for it. Um, yeah, let's. Yeah, what uh, what we need to do is just import the rest of these scripts. So I'm just going to copy the scripts names. Do that. Go back here. I'm right clicking. And that's so that's pasting it. And since I, I know that it's just a, a number change, I can just add a number on here. Eight nine. So that's all the tables um, and so they said here that we can test um, the tables by saying um, select star from and books and there we go we've got we've got records 14 rows that are are showing so that's this this concludes this video Thank you for watching um, and all the best with INF 3707. Thanks and goodbye.